Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy A8 2016 on the left versus the Galaxy S6. So, uh, very similar devices as far as the internal goes. So we had the same processor and same amount of RAM. Exynos 7420 it is. So, uh, let's just boot both of these two devices up at the same time. So, uh, the big difference uh, between these two phones would be, of course, that the Galaxy S6 has a quad HD display. Uh, the A2016 has a 1080p display, 5.7 inch. Um, also, you get Grace Touch with UI with the A2016, uh, and the Galaxy S6 comes with uh, their normal uh, old Touch with look UI. So you can see that it is uh, just a bit faster there compared to the A2016. So. We're just going to uh, have similar Wi-Fi network here on both devices. You can see the difference here quickly if I bring down the quick setting area that the options look uh, really good on the new, you know, Grace UI here. So we are connected to the Wi-Fi network and everything is closed up in the background. Nothing is open. I'm going to go back and uh, first off, I'm going to be launching the phone dialer at the same time. So you can see very similar performance here with this with the system based application. Uh, let's launch uh, calculator. No difference at all. Uh, let's move on towards some third party stuff. So first off, we got color switch. Let's see here. That was absolutely similar. Uh, Wiber. A 2016 faster uh, Twitter pretty similar stuff uh, next we have some games so let's launch uh, gunfu here first off and okay so Google Play thing popped up I'm just gonna close this and instead of this we're gonna be launching subway surfer and Let's go. So, let's see here, interesting stuff. A 2016 faster. Let's uh, launch Play Store. Okay. Um, almost at the same time. Next, we got Smash Hit. Galaxy A 2016 faster. Uh, let's go into the app drawer again and launch Wiber. That is pretty equal. Uh, what else? What else? We should launch uh, one more application that is going to be uh, Zedge or not Zedge actually. Let's move on towards Instagram. Let's see here. Okay, Galaxy S6, uh, if I'm not wrong, faster, and also played the video first, so that is good. Okay, let me just go back and cancel that. Uh, so let's open the camera at the same time and see which can bring that interface uh, face first here. So wow, very similar. So it seems like the Galaxy S6, even with the Quad HD display. It's uh, you know on par with the A2016. Uh, not much of a difference at all. Uh, really neck and neck performance. We can move on uh, to the browsers on both devices. I'm mean, using internet browser on both phones. So first off, we got Amazon.com here, and uh, let's see which is going to be the winner uh, with the first website. So let's uh, see this clearly. And notice the, the the loading bar on the top. And the Galaxy S6 finished off first. Uh, but you can see in browser experiences, pretty smooth on both phones. You're not going to be having any lag. This is the best chipset from the 2015 year. And really with the optimized software, it's still performing best here. So next we have gsmarena.com. Let's go. Okay, let's see here, who's going to finish off first?
a six should win this one again and the galaxy s6 is done followed by the a8 2016 so really i have to say that uh, both phones are doing a great job uh, but the s6 of course is a bit ahead when it comes to browsing let's quickly get inside the ram management on both devices so if you guys remember the s6 was pretty bad with the ram management uh, but samsung did optimize uh, its software uh, for the galaxy s6 so now uh, you can expect better ram management out of this phone so twitter oops you can see that everything is in the memory so far subway surfer pretty nice stuff Let's uh, go ahead and launch Play Store. Smash hit. I mean, I'm really, ex uh, really impressed overall uh, by the A2016. If you guys have watched my previous speed tests, I've done with the iPhone 7 Plus also, Galaxy S7. You can uh, see those videos on the channel. If you're new, then please subscribe. So, okay, where is the browser? So, yeah, top-notch performance. And the best thing here is that the Galaxy S6, of course, is an old phone. So you can buy this phone for about $300, $350 used, you know. Uh, new, brand new Galaxy S6 still cost about $400. So it's a great device, even still, uh, at, it's uh, almost 2017, you know, we are in November. So still one of the best phone from Samsung. And uh, it is still really fast. And uh, yeah, that's uh, our whole speed test video. I'll be doing a review and a camera test between these two phones pretty soon. And for that, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.